Hi there, I'm Dr. Francesca Zampollo and in this video I'm going to tell you how to generate many new ideas with the food design thinking method called Idea Market. This method is brilliant for those of you designing dishes or food product. So for those of you designing the edible product and for those of you who are concentrating on the product itself. Regardless of whether this edible product is going to be presented on a plate or inside a packaging. Idea Market is a food design thinking idea generation method. Idea Market is a card game that helps you generate many ideas that are rich, insightful and innovative. You will generate ideas by combining cards with different themes and by trading your cards for other people's cards you value more. By creating a fun atmosphere, this method stimulates the part of your brain where creativity happens. Within the food design thinking process, Idea Market is one of the methods in the Envision phase. In order to take advantage of the full potential of this method, here are some of the things you should do. Take the time to write down everything that inspires you in the world of food and beyond that. Who are the people whose work you admire? What inspires you about their work or life? Also, what inspires you personally? What are the technologies, books, products, services, etc. that you wish you had thought of? Once you have visualized in front of you everything that inspires you and that drives you to innovate, write down one sentence that summarizes what you want to achieve with this food design project. This sentence should be broad enough to allow you to discover areas of unexpected value and narrow enough to make the topic manageable. Once you have it, transform it into a question that starts with how might we dot dot dot. Multiple minds are always stronger than one, so you should create your food design team. Assemble a group of people with different skills and knowledge because a variety of different perspectives is a wonderful ingredient to achieve real innovation. Now that you have your food design opportunity and before you can really start to generate ideas, you need to make sure you have learned as much as you can about your food design context by generating what we call insights. Insights are the result of your process of understanding the context in which you are designing. Learning about the context we are interested in is the first step to any food design project. To collect insights, you might use some of the most common methods like interviews and observations. But you can also, and I would encourage you, to actually use a food design thinking method I have designed called Star Chat. Okay, let's start ideating. Cards are shuffled and divided amongst all participants. All participants have the same number of cards. Depending on the number of participants, a few cards may be left out. Round 1. Each participant combines six of her own cards, one from each color or category, with one insight, and use them to generate one or more ideas. Once all participants have their combination of six cards plus one insight, each participant describes her idea and the others build on it. Each idea is captured with a sketch, a title and some notes. At the end of the round, the cards and insights used to generate the ideas are put aside. Round 2. Participants look for more combination of six cards among their own cards to combine with one insight to generate one idea. If participants do not have at least six different cards, they can start trading. What happens when you trade? The first participant looks for a card of the category she is missing among the cards of other participants. When she finds it, she proposes a trade to the second participant. She declares which card she wants and the second participant can choose a card to receive in exchange from the first participant's cards. 
Each idea is captured with a sketch, a title and some notes. If the card that the first participant wants is a card that the second participant is not prepared to give away easily, because she considered it particularly useful for her own ideas, she can ask to have two cards in exchange for that one card. If the first participant accepts, the second participant can choose which two cards to take from the first participant. Once all participants have their combination of six cards plus one insight, each participant describes her idea to the others and they build on it. The following rounds continue in the same way. When the group reaches a stall moment, when no one is able to have six different cards, then all cards from each participant are put in the middle. Now participants collectively create combinations of six cards plus one insights and collectively generate ideas. Each idea is captured with a sketch, a title and notes. The game ends when all cards have been used. And at this point you will have generated a lot, a lot of ideas. Now that you have many food design ideas, what should you do? Start by looking at all your ideas and work through them to make more sense of what you have. Some ideas will need to be combined, some rethought, and some will need more details added. Do not discard ideas at this point, but rather improve them. Once you are happy with the ideas you have, number each one of your ideas. Then use this diagram. You see there are two opposites for the X and Y axis. For example, the X axis could be radical and conservative, and the Y axis could be boo and wow. And here there is a list of other opposites that you could choose from, or you could write your own. You should choose the two opposites that you think resonate best with your project. Write these opposites on the sides of the axis. These create four quadrants. Take each design idea one at a time and discuss with the team in which quadrant it should be placed. Not only you should choose the quadrant, but you should also discuss and choose a specific position that indicates how much that idea is radical, for example, and how much it makes you say, wow, for example. Once all ideas have been positioned in the diagram, you should be able to easily choose your final food design idea. Now go out there and make it into reality. Okay, so this is it for the food design thinking method idea market. I've just given you the tool, now you go out there and innovate. Thank you for watching this video. As always, have a lovely day and happy food design.